Um, okay, I'm Jake Lieber. I'm a postdoc at Stanford uh, with Russ Altman. Uh, and I'm going to uh, tell you about extending the text AE um, uh, annotator, which is a tool built here. And so I kind of want to briefly explain why I'm interested in doing it. And then the specific uh, extension uh, feature uh, I'm interested in adding, which is non-contiguous entities. Um, so I'm kind of a, a knowledge base construction person. I'm interested in building quite specific use cases of knowledge bases uh, for cancer and kind of personalized medicine. Uh, and up until this point, I've been using kind of very rudimentary hack together annotation platforms. Kind of for those people at the back, you won't be able to see this, but it's basically a, a, a website that shows a single sentence with a, is this sentence talking about the thing we're interested in? Yes, no kind of button. And it doesn't lend itself very well to making corrections to fixing kind of entity annotations. What it's really good at is allowing you to annotate things really quickly and kind of go through things uh, and get a large number of annotations. And so um, most recently we used this to build a pharmacogenomics knowledge base. So that's an association between mutations and chemicals. If a mutation uh, affects uh, the kind of metabolism or dosing of that um, chemical, that's really interesting to us. And I'm working with a group that's been building the PharmGKB pharmacogenomics knowledge base for the last 20 years. And they now want to use kind of NLP to help them curate it a bit. Uh, a bit further. And so yeah, we've uh, we've built this thing, but the challenge is that there are mistakes in it. Um, and we want to figure out how do we go around correcting them in a nice way? How do we uh, give kind of annotation tools to a team of curators that normally are doing like document level curation and aren't so used to working with some of the more intense uh, annotation platforms out there so they can go in and fix things themselves and I, I'm not constantly like fixing things for them. Uh, and so the, the tool that I'm like hunting around for tools that I thought might be appropriate for this, uh, I'm interested in kind of figuring out how we could get Text AE uh, to work with this kind of problem. So Text AE is a tool developed here at DBCLS, DBCLS um, uh, Jin Dong Kim and his colleagues. And it's like a, a nice web component that you can plug into different things, select spans of text, um, and kind of click between to create entities and a whole bunch of um, different bits of functionality. Uh, so in this case, just an example of selecting two proteins and creating a relationship between them. Um, and um, it's part of the kind of pub, pub annotation ecosystem. Uh, so it's the default viewer for pub annotation and then you can use it for editors. But what is kind of super nice is just how you can integrate it with other things. It's uh, a Node.js. Um, element uh, component, and so you can just kind of plug it in and pass it a data set, and it just visualizes it for you, which is super nice. Um, but one of the things that we, um, well, I'm particularly interested in capturing, which we're just like not done at all well at, is the concept of non-contiguous entities. So entities where there are multiple spans potentially separated <laughs> by a bunch of words, um, and most tools don't really support them very well, but they come up quite a lot, especially when you're trying to extract information and lists appear. So we have an example here, a sentence uh, from another previous project to do with associating the roles of different genes in cancer. Um, this gene has been identified as a tumor suppressor in a whole bunch of different cancer types, and you get a list. And the issue is that lung is not a cancer type. Lung cancer is a cancer type. And so if you're trying to match things against, you really need both the word lung and the word cancer. And so you need a way of representing the fact that those words aren't next to each other in, in the text. Um, and so, well, I'll just before we go to that, um, what's quite nice is that the pub annotation file format actually supports this, but at the moment text AE, text AE doesn't support it directly. So uh, I'll show you kind of one way of representing it at the moment, which it can, which is not super elegant. Um, the idea is that you have two separate entities, so lung is an entity, cancer is an entity, and you create a separate relation between them. And I mean, technically that's fine, and you can do some post-processing to fix it, but it's kind of a bit ugly, and especially if you hand a tool off to someone that isn't uh, like a trained annotator and knows why this is a thing, they'll just be like, oh, I'm fed up with this. Um, so the idea is, can we implement the kind of more elegant way of doing it in text AE 
um, which aligns with the kind of the actual support the pub annotation format. Um, and so the hackathon goals are can we first of all can we get text AE to visualize um, some non-contiguous entities, just give it a sentence like the one I just showed you, and it actually shows it nicely. We'll see if that's doable. Uh, if that's doable, um, can we actually add some functionality so you can start adding your own entities, uh, add a new span to an entity, and then obviously can you actually save all of this back to the, uh, the original file format? And in that short amount of time, thank you very much, and thank you to the travel sponsors and the organizers here.